I genuinely think the friendship has been one of the most rewarding things, you know, um, um, without, you know, I don't want to embarrass Vincent so much, but like it's, it's been such an honour for someone of my generation to, to learn so much from, from an actor of Vincent's calibre um, and, uh, and to, you know, to be a partner of his in this journey that we've been on is just like a real, uh, you know, highlight of my, my whole career. Um, and, and he keeps the bar up there for me too, like I have to, I know that going into every scene I have to be as good as Charlie. <laughs> it's very nice. Um, so that's a that's obviously a highlight. Um, I, I, I'm still pinching myself that we're we're still playing these characters. We're still making this show, um, and you know, long may it last. Long may it continue. There was a lot of fun. I mean, just him doing his like first big fight sequence and then the corner doing push-ups and stretching <laughs> and getting ready then he yeah. puts on a suit and he's like because <laughs> the suits are so constricting yeah. Yeah. you know you can fight and do all this crazy stuff then you put the suits on and you just call your stunt man in because there's nothing you can do it's tough picking one just because every single day he holds court <laughs> and so whenever there's like we're moving from one scene to another um, he just does like, he practices like a five minute bit or a ten minute <laughs> bit and you see it develop over time but recently we had two different crews that he got to try it on and I'm like, I've heard this routine before, where have I heard it? And then I got to see a bunch of new people listen to it for the first time and they're rolling, like dying laughing. Um, so that's one of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, bringing together all these characters that have different moral compasses, how does that feel? It's exciting because I think the, it lends itself to an unpredictability in the film. I think a lot of um, you know superhero movies, you can kind of depend on the superhero to do the right thing when they show up in a situation. And I think with these guys, one of the fun things about them is you n never know what they're going to do. I mean, they could just pull out a gun and shoot someone. And, you know, Something they're... Very unexpected. Yes, yeah, very unexpected, very unpredictable. And that's, uh, that's what I like most about this, is you, you'll never know what to expect in any given scene with these guys. When I was in film school, there's an author named uh, Machado de Assis, uh, who had a book called, uh, I think in Portuguese, it's uh, The Alienista. But uh, in English, we called it The Psychiatrist. Um, I, I was reading his short stories when I was in film school and I found the way that he created images was very moving. I was trying to go from being a writer to being a filmmaker. Uh, and around that same time I met uh, Fernando uh, Moreas who directed City of God or Cidade, Cidade de Dios, is that how you say it? Uh, I met him at this festival, the Telluride Film Festival, and he was very kind to me about filmmaking and about the work he did with Katia Lund uh, on that film. So I think between Machado de Assis and Fernando, when I was becoming a filmmaker, uh, those were the things in Brazilian culture that were really important to me. We never imagined it. We, we worked on Toy Story, and all we hoped was that there'd be enough for another film. And then we worked on the next film, and then slowly but surely as it built up um, into what it is today, it almost feels like a dream. I mean, you know, it's coming to places like this, like D23 or coming around the world, when you see you know, people dressed in the costumes and people, the families that have grown up with it. it. No, we never thought of that. And now that that has happened, it just feels, like I said, like a dream. And we're very proud of it. Oi, galera, Brazil! What can Brazilians relate to in Moana too? Yeah. First and foremost, uh, it is the, the beauty of nature. Moana is constantly surrounded, just like we are here in Brazil. The music in Moana too is incredible. Uh, there's dancing, uh, and uh, you hear from a lot of different characters. What Emily and Abigail have pulled off uh, in Moana 2 is staggering. It's some of the most beautiful music I've ever heard. It's incredibly fun. Maui's new song is a showstopper. I think they're gonna love it. Brazilians are the most passionate fans in the world. It's like, the, it's the best thing to come to Brazil to, to celebrate this with everybody. I would like to be in Brazil all the time. How do I get inspiration for my work? Uh, from everywhere. As a writer first for me, um, it's meeting people, it's talking to people, it's thinking about what types of stories not only are important to me, but important to my friends, my family, and to the world. And so usually I start with something I just deeply care about. 